everyone. So today I have my first day of in-person classes. This is my first time being in a classroom since like March of last year. So it's been a really long time. Even though most of my classes are online this week, this is the one class that I get to be on campus for. So I'm gonna bike up to campus today and eat breakfast and then head to my class and then probably come back right after. But I'm really nervous. I woke up at 5.50 a.m. this morning and had my alarm set to 6.30, but I just naturally woke up. And I signed up for all of my classes this morning, so it's officially in the computer. And then I think it comes up in the system tomorrow, but I get to see what I'm doing today. So I have one class today, which is kind of nice because I'm so nervous already, but I'm excited to go, but I'm really nervous. Okay, I'm officially headed to class now. Wish me luck. I'm so out of breath from these stairs. <laughs> hey guys, so I just got back and that was my first ever college in-person class ever and it was so much fun. There was, there was five people in the class and it was just, it was nice to be back in person in a classroom, but it's like the first time for me as a college student. It was really fun, like everything was just fun to me even though it's just a normal natural science class and the teacher seemed really good too. And there were a couple of people in the class that I already knew, so that was nice. And it's a natural science class, so we got to go outside towards the end of class and just look at different plants around the campus, which was really cool. A little bit later now. I just ate some lunch and I've been taking a little break. It's currently 1:21 ish and I just poured myself this matcha latte and I'm gonna drink that and I'm gonna get started on some assignments. I don't think I have like hard assignments yet just some lectures that I need to listen to from yesterday because even though we didn't have school I think the teachers posted some things so I'm gonna look over that yeah, get started on my work and prepare for some classes that I have tomorrow. So yeah, it's been a fun, productive first day. I think it was good that I only had one actual class just to like ease into things, but yeah, I'm really happy with how the day is going so far.
Good morning, it's currently Tuesday, not Wednesday. Today I have two classes. This morning I have a Korean class at nine, which is my first ever Korean class, which I don't know anything about Korean or anything really. So I'm really excited for this completely new adventure. I have my Zoom class later this afternoon, which is gonna be my core classmates. So that should be really exciting. And for my Korean class, I was already able to purchase the textbook that I needed online secondhand for a lot cheaper than what it is completely new but it seems really good quality so I'm really glad that I was able to get it second hand but yeah I have no idea what a lot of these words are so it's completely new and it's exciting I don't think it's a zoom class today I think it's just an on-demand class for this first week so I'm gonna have a chill morning and then later I'll do my zoom I recently downloaded the flip clock that I've seen all over the internet I'm really loving it, but also it makes me worried about the time. It's officially nine o'clock. I'm setting my forest timer and getting to work. I've been doing some Korean for the past, I think like two hours or so. It's almost 11 and this is the first day and the teacher just left us instructions from the textbook of like what we can do. And it's already kind of interesting, but it's kind of difficult. So I can speak Japanese and English, and I've taken a little bit of French, and with French, it was easier to learn for me than what I'm doing right now because French uses the same alphabet as English, and also because if you look at some of the French words, you can just guess what the words mean just from looking at the words because it's similar to English. But with Korean, the alphabet is completely different from anything that I know. Some of the pronunciation is similar to Japanese and some of the sentence structure is also similar, but it's still something completely different. So it's really interesting so far. I definitely need to put in more time, but it's fun. I'm having a lot of fun. But right now I need to take some pictures of trees and plants for my natural science class just to make a report on the different types of trees around me. So I'm gonna prepare my lunch and let that cook and then go out for a mini walk to take some pictures. But yeah, I'm having fun. My body is really sore from my workout yesterday, so I'm kind of having trouble sitting. So I think this walk will really help. This is currently what my desk mess looks like. I'll clean it up later. <laughs> I think my rice has cooled off now, so I'm gonna go put these in the freezer so I have it for the next few days whenever I want to eat rice. So I am back to study my Korean now and right now I'm practicing how to write the basic ones and there's slight differences in the pronunciation that just make it so much harder than it is. This is only the beginning so I bet it's gonna get a lot harder which I'm kind of scared about but I have some time until my Korean class tomorrow so I'm gonna keep practicing and keep writing and keep listening to the actual pronunciation to maybe get it a little bit polished before tomorrow. I've bored myself a latte. <sighs> ah. 
A Ja O Jo This is so difficult I'm about to go into my first Zoom class of the school year and I think it's with the same kind of classmates that I had last semester maybe. There's a few new people but it should be kind of the same people but it's a completely different teacher and I heard that the teacher is kind of kind of strict so I'm scared about that but I'm gonna head in and this class should be over at 4 10 so it's an hour and a half long but I think it'll be fine. I'm just gonna try to like pay attention and do my best. I'm scared though. Okay, so for tonight's dinner, I just made pesto pasta because I'm I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gonna FaceTime my grandparents though because they're, they're really knowledgeable about trees and plants and one of my science homework stuff is to identify a specific type of tree and I'm kind of confused on it so I'm gonna FaceTime them, catch up, and then kind of ask them about my homework. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's Thursday and today I have a meeting at 10 and then class after lunch. So it's currently 8.39. I'm just gonna review some stuff for my Korean class later today, and then continue with some other assignments before my meeting. Hopefully my meeting goes well. Hi guys, so I think my meeting went really well. I was able to like articulate my thoughts and stuff. So that was good. It's currently a little past 11. I'm gonna have lunch in a little bit because I have class after lunch. So I just wanna like prepare for that a little bit. And it's my first ever Korean Zoom class, so that should be really interesting. Because I don't know how many people are going to be in it, so I don't know if it's like a lot. It probably is, but that's very exciting. So I just changed my bed sheets, and my stomach just grumbled, so I'm going to make lunch in a little bit, but I'm just going to relax until then. I was so nervous, I'm like sweating, and I'm wearing gray, so it's like very obvious, and it's kind of embarrassing. My package from Amazon just got here and I ordered a kalimba two days ago and I'm really excited. I have class in a little bit so I don't really have like that much time but I'm gonna open it and just like double check to see if everything is good. Okay, here's what the box looks like. And it comes in a case too. And I think this is the hammer to tune it if I need to. I need to do more research on how to do stuff like this, but. So cool, okay, so take it out of the packaging. <clears throat> okay, here's what it looks like. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay. I'm gonna play with this a little bit, but I need to go to my class.
currently have the windows open just to kind of air out my room after lunch and I'm about to go into my first ever Zoom for Korean, so that should be fun. Okay, I just finished with my Korean Zoom and I kind of feel bad because the teacher before the class started was like, hey, you can come to campus and you can come to this classroom and study with us. And I didn't know because she didn't post it earlier, so I would have gone if I known. I just did it from Zoom and a couple other people did as well and it's like everything that we're learning is new and we're learning more new stuff so everything's like more confusing so I have a lot to learn but I'm kind of busy too so it's gonna be interesting but I'm really enjoying it so far. So I just packed my bag. I'm headed to work in a little bit. I hope it doesn't rain because the weather app kind of says like thunderstorms, but right now it kind of just looks cloudy. But yeah, hopefully I can study some Korean on the bus. Just like to read it because it's like fun and I have class tomorrow too. So I want to be prepared and like get better. So I'll see you guys soon. So it's currently 9.42 and I still have to do some homework for my Korean class tomorrow and then prepare for my other class. Good morning, so it's Friday and I have five classes today and this is the most classes I have in a day and it's on Fridays which kind of sucks but I guess it's a nice way to start the weekend. So I have class from 9 to basically 6 p.m. today, so it's my busiest day. And I have two Zooms and I think a bunch of on-demand classes today, in which I woke up this morning and I was so tired. I didn't even have school on Monday, so I haven't even experienced my first real week of school, but I'm so tired. So I'm really excited to just chill and sleep tonight, but I gotta get through these few classes. And then I'll be done with kind of my first week of school. And yeah, I'm like kind of struggling with balancing my workload already and it's like the first few days, but I think I shouldn't expect myself to have like a perfect schedule the very first week with like balancing what time to do my homework and like how to chill and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to work on that with these upcoming weeks, but I think this week was a pretty good start and I'm hoping with my classes today I can finish it strong as well. I have class at 10.45 and it's currently 10.07 and I'm scared for this class. I had this class on Wednesday and like I feel like this class it's kind of like an English like overall English like writing type of class but it's like a lot of reading and a lot of papers and it's very scary <laughs> and like a lot of the people in the class are like more on the quiet side and I am a quiet person like back in high school I would just never like talk that much in class. But now, like, with all the Zoom classes, I'm, like, suddenly, like, oh, like, this is this. And, like, I talk a lot now, which is so weird. But it's, like, so tiring at the same time, too, because I'm naturally just not an outgoing person. But I guess college is forcing me to grow in that way, so. I'm currently just watching YouTube, so I'm just gonna, I'm just not gonna do anything until 1045 and let my brain kind of rest. Okay, I'm done with my Zoom and I made some ham and cheese toast. And I'm gonna eat that really quickly and then get started on my next class, which isn't a Zoom, so I can just chill a little bit, but I'm just gonna eat this really quickly. I've been trying to set forest timers on my phone just to not use my phone when I do take my online classes, especially the ones that are like self-paced, so I keep myself accountable. And I didn't realize forest had such a big update and now there's like so many different types of trees that I want to work hard to buy. And cur currently I have like 3,000-ish coins. So I'm gonna like try to utilize this more this semester. There's so many cute ones, like this witch mushroom. I could buy it, but should I buy it? Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I can pick from this now. 
I have my witch mushroom. I'm going to set it for 30 minutes. And I'm going to start working on my presentation slides that I have to read through. Before my next class, I am treating myself to some pudding flavored soy milk. This is so good. I've shown it in a couple of my vlogs and I get it every once in a while when I want a little treat. So I'm gonna drink this and get some energy. This is so good. It's like the perfect flavor. Hopefully my class this afternoon goes well. And for Fridays, I have five classes back to back, but um, they're on Zoom or on demand, so I don't have to go to campus yet, but next week I might. And I can't imagine having five classes back to back on campus. I feel like that would be really overwhelming, but I guess once everything starts, I'll get used to it. It's so good. I think they also came out with a cheesecake flavor recently, so I really want to try that eventually if I find it. I haven't really found any new flavors recently, so maybe we'll find it somewhere. I'm going into my Korean Zoom right now, wish me luck. These language classes go really really fast paced, so sometimes I have trouble catching up. I don't know how other people in my class just like memorize words like that. My brain just doesn't do that, but hopefully this class goes by okay. So I just got done with my last class of the day, my Korean class, and the last half of class we just learned new material and everybody gets it really really fast and I don't so I'm just sitting there like oh, I don't know how to pronounce this. So I think this is going to be one of those classes where I just have to put in extra work outside of class and even though the class moves really fast and I like have trouble keeping up, I can still kind of do it on my own later and like get better at it so I think I'm going to try to do that. It's fun, but it's like everything is new, and for some reason everybody's like really good at following it. I think a lot of people that are taking this class are like interested in like Korea and like Korean culture to begin with. They listen to K-pop and probably watch K-dramas, and I've never really done that, so I think I just don't have much of like the prior knowledge, so that's something that I'm gonna have to work on, but it's still fun. Something that's completely new, so. Now it's currently... 4 15 ish and i think i'm gonna do something crazy crazy for me at least i think i'm gonna bike to daiso which is like 15 minutes away and just shop around buy donuts for tomorrow to eat because i feel like that would be a nice treat it's not even my first full week of school but it's a nice treat because it's friday so i think i'm gonna treat myself by going to daiso so i'm gonna get ready and go i've never done this before so it's kind of like out of the box for me I have my mask on and I'm dressed a little bit warm. I think that it's not that cold, but it is windy. So I'm going to take my bike. So that's why I'm dressed a little warm. I'm going to go shopping and just get my mind off of school for a little bit. I'm back from my mini adventure. I didn't really buy much, but I did buy a few essentials and I bought those donuts to eat for tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. My head feels so much more clear now, just from like riding my bike outside and just walking around and looking at stuff. And yeah, this was like a really spontaneous, nice little trip that I did. So yeah, I'm really, really hungry, even though I ate that ice cream. I'm gonna start making dinner. Yesterday at the grocery store, I bought this soup. And it's sundubu, so it's like, I think it's a Korean soup. It says it's mild, and I guess all you do is microwave it. 
Hopefully this is good. I've never had this before, but if it's good, I'll definitely buy it again. So I'm gonna go microwave some rice and then this and have my dinner. Okay, here's my rice and here is my soup. It smells really, really spicy and good. And I added my own egg on top and let's have a taste. I hope this tastes good. Okay, so I guess you just mix it. Oh, I have to pour my tea. Itadakimasu. Oishii. This tastes really good. I think it's like the perfect, it's the perfect balance of spicy. I think it's spicy after you put it in your mouth and you wait a little bit. It's really good, I really like this. This is so good. It's a nice treat to the day. I just finished eating and it was really good. It got spicier the more you ate it, so it was, it was pretty good. I definitely would want to try this again, but now that I think about it, I think I could just make this on my own and just like buy the right spices and then buy tofu and just make it on my own. And it shouldn't be too hard, so I might do that in the coming weeks. That should be fun. I'm just gonna chill for a little bit and then take a shower and chill some more.